Hong Kong will quarantine all arrivals from mainland China from tomorrow. The move has prompted panic buying of basic necessities on rumors that the border restrictions will disrupt supplies. Now, this is despite assurances from the government and suppliers that there are no shortages of essential goods. Roland Lim tells us more. Bare shelves at supermarkets, usually stocked with toilet paper and kitchen rolls. The same for rice. Despite being a regulated item, the government has 13,000 tons in reserves, enough for a whole month. The paper run, fueled by fears, fed by online rumour that the new quarantine measures for arrivals from China would disrupt supplies from the mainland. Uh, the minimal trust in the, towards the government officials is one of the contributing factors towards this phenomenon. And um, the less information uh, disclosed by the government, the less the li little trust people could build on them. Pharmacist Ms. Cheung believes that the city isn't coping to contain a citywide community outbreak as local transmission cases pick up and supports the call for a travel ban on anyone who's been on the mainland in the past 14 days as a preemptive measure. People, they can even camp out at night in a cold night for like six to nine hours in order to get just two boxes of surgical masks, to be honest. And people can stay for longer than usual in the shop just in case there is replenishment of surgical masks, they could get it right away. And you know, if there is a queue and people see there's a queue, they would just join the queue in order not to miss the surgical masses in case the distribution of surgical masks starts. Surgical masks have become a much sought after item and are being sold at inflated prices. Now, this city is almost all masked, and you'll stand out if you don't have one on. The government, meantime, is only urging, not mandating for all citizens to put one on and to practice good hygiene standards. And increasingly, building managements like mine are telling all visitors and tenants to have one on. Some medicine shop staff even greet customers by warning them that they have no masks in stock. This owner says six out of ten customers daily is hoping to buy some or asking for when stocks will return. 已經問了很多公司,都是沒回覆,不知道什麼時候,所以我們公司怎麼答,我們只可以這樣答一刻,等真的有確實的日期,我們才敢答,我們幾時幾時會有,有多少。Authorities say they've secured 32 million masks for retail sales from February, and prison inmates are working around the clock to produce 70,000 a day. But an expert estimates that the city needed about 300 million monthly to deal with the ongoing crisis. Roland Lim, CNA, Hong Kong.